Minecraft everything is one hit. So good news, my strength is equivalent to a Greek god. Bad news, a fire landing on me could potentially kill me. Heart did stop multiple times during this recording, knowing that a zombie could appear at any time and instantly delete me. So subscribe for my heart transplant. Actually, let's just give this a little test. Now, skeletons won't kill me, right? No, I can get hit by a skeleton. If I hit by a zombie, yep. Dead. So there's no need to get weapons because, um... Yeah, we don't, we don't really need them. Right, who needs a weapon when you are the weapon? Killing small defenseless animals has never been so easy. Wait, why am I getting iron? What, what do I need iron for? It's not gonna help. Okay, now all I need to do is not die. You see all these zombies here, what I need to do is not get hit by them. Thing is, this might actually be better for me because anything that can hurt me is projectiles. Well, anything that can hurt me that's not gonna one shot me. Wait, why am I. No, just whack them. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. Way too close. Leave me alone. Stupid mobs. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, village. Where is Iron Man? Where is he at? Ooh, lava pool. And don't leave crafting table. I actually remember this time. Okay, so we're spawning in a basalt. Oh, I hear ghast. Okay. <sighs> Just mine around that. My run distance isn't even high enough to see at the bottom of that. Problem is, all these magma cubes can also one-shot me. But as long as they don't get hit at all, I should be fine. I'm really good at doing that. Oh my gosh, there's way too many magma cubes coming up here. Problem with magma cubes too is that if you hit them, if you hit them first, they split up. And then when they're tiny, they, break, they easily hit you. Twenty tiny ones can easily hit me at least once. We're well, out of Soul Sand Valley now. Hey, dude, how's it going? I too like to hang out above my impending doom. Crank up the old run distance. Do we see a fortress? Ooh. I really should look where I'm going, shouldn't I? How do I... I'm just far too spectacular, almost dying. Well, and, and dying, really. I'm also really good at dying. From all the times I've died, I've learned to die less. Not the right structure. But maybe worth it. Not sure what I'm going to get in there. I don't think I'm probably going to get in there as death. Okay, so this is a bridge bastion. I'm so paranoid to people and brutes. I do not want to be dying to a baby hoglin. Oh! Okay, give me a second for my heart to recover from that. I can like feel my heart in my tongue. Are they angry? Boy, I love Piglin trading. It's so interactive. You throw a stack of gold in there and you wait three years. You guys are basically useless. I am leaving this bastion, never coming back. Fortress. Okay, there are a lot of mobs down there. Bibles won't one-shot me. But when I'm too close to them, I take damage from touching them, then uh, I will just die. <laughs> I was doing that, they like shoot like one or two and then you just jump up and they shoot the rest.
they went ahead and cleared all the bridge for me as well. How thoughtful. Okay, now the question is, do I remember how to get back? Wait, no, I, have to, I don't have to go back to the portal. And just... Too easy. Ah, we're back in one of these biomes. Okay, let's just make some eyes of Ender and make our way to the portal. That way. Uh, imagine being a zombie and not being able to get to me. Shipwreck. Well, I say shipwreck, but this looks like completely intact. This just looks like it's sunk down a bit. This doesn't look like it received any damage whatsoever. Yep. A lot of stuff. Okay. And we have a village. Just need to grab some flint. Why is no flint dropping? Oh, that's probably why. Okay, I've got everything I need. So now we're good to go. It's that way. Okay, it's right here. Another secret passageway. Here we are. I forgot about the silverfish. 